becomes the basis for traditional Chinese medicine techniques. Harnessing this energy apparently allows them to break bricks with their hands and even their heads. Qi, it flows throughout the body. Without it, you don't function. And it's a radio wave. Science can't find Qi. It doesn't, it doesn't exist as far as science can tell. I fired up the Qi, I went like this, I knocked him out. Tom Cameron has the power. The power to help you protect yourself. A seventh degree black belt trained by Grandmaster George Dillman, he teaches traditional martial arts to students of all ages. It's a discipline he began studying 32 years ago, basically to save his own life, growing up in a tough south side neighborhood. I had been attacked dozens of times. Uh, had been knifed and finally when somebody stuck a gun up my nose and pulled the trigger I figured it was time I either learned something to protect myself or I was gonna die He's more than just a martial arts master though He's one of only a handful of experts He's here going. in the United Catch States it. trained in dim mock Rebel, Which translates one, out to poison hand two. It's a highly guarded centuries-old secret in which you use pressure points to mirror. disable an attacker If I go here and touch there the legs go out He's a ninth degree black belt who has taught everyone from Muhammad Ali to Bruce Lee. And he's able to drop just about anyone using applications of pressure to certain points along the body. Just give suggestions and people who is ready to believe that kind of things react. But critiquing a tape and standing up to a karate master are completely different matters. Dillman claims to have adapted this technique to where he can knock a person out without having to touch them. All of these karate techniques are made possible by manipulating chi. He makes a chi ball. He'll get the radio frequency going between the hands. And if you get up and feel, it's actually hotter inside that ball. like electrical circuitry that he can turn on or off with a simple well-placed punch or even just a tap. We enter the chi into pressure points that both accept chi or give off chi. I use one to give off chi 
put it into one study. That's changed. We, in essence, turn the light switches down. It kicks out their circuit breaker panel in the back. Pressure points can be dangerous. I've flatlined several people. claims to have an even higher power, being able to knock out an attacker without even touching them, hey! using energy to interfere with their nervous system. They'll get all kinds of neurological types of effects. Their body organs can shut off temporarily. They will feel like they've been hit by an electric bolt. This so-called power led him to be labeled the human sun gun. But you ask, does it work, Danielle? We headed out to his Palos Heights studio to check out his superhero-like strengths. They also brought along two trained medical professionals for safety. Sure enough, his students went down, and our EMTs confirmed something funny was going on. After seeing so many demonstrations, so many different techniques, so many different moves, you, you can't help but start believing. They're opening up another door in your mind. It's unbelievable. But is the mysterious energy called Chi really what's giving Dillman and his followers such extraordinary powers? He thinks he can stand up to a knockout punch of chi because it doesn't exist. Eighth degree black belt Leon J, one of George Dillman's top associates and fellow practitioner of a no-touch knockout. This ought to be interesting. In fact, when we did the test on Luigi, who was not uh, ready to, to believe these things. So maybe we'll just stay in there, seeing what would happen. It didn't work. Dillman thinks he knows what went wrong and has come up with a very interesting explanation. The skeptic was, un was a, a totally non-believer. Non-believer plus I don't know if I should say that on film, but if the guy had his tongue in the wrong position of the mouth, uh, that can also nullify it. Yeah, you can nullify it. You can nullify a lot of things done to you. In fact, you can nullify them if you raise those two big toes. If I say I'm going to knock you out, and you raise one toe and push one toe down, can't knock you out. And then if I go to try again, you reverse it. If you keep doing this, I won't knock you out. And so were our paramedics, even with the scientific evidence. It's just not enough evidence all put the one. It was different things at different times. So we asked Tom to try it on someone other than his students, like us. God, you're scared. Relax. I'm not going to hurt you. He refused to try the touchless knockout on me, saying he thought I may get hurt. If you touch this... Stay. <laughs> You just hit me in the head. We were less than stunned by this stun guns demonstration, so we had Tom try it again on jujitsu students at the Extreme Fitplex downtown. Do you feel any heat? Do you feel any lightheadedness at all? Not really. And once again, the results were less than stunning. He's not going to go. Tom says only about 40% of people are susceptible to touchless knockouts, and natural athletes are the toughest. They learn to translate this energy so they, they don't get affected by it as much.